IB means um, being curious and asking questions about the world around you. And as you explore those questions, you grow as an individual that's connected to your, the world around you. Um, and it's caring for other people and caring for yourself. Being IB is being an inquirer. Always wondering why things are the way they are and always and asking yourself what it would happen if. But it's also an attitude. It's asking yourself, how can I make a positive impact on the people in the world around me? To me, IB means caring for others and taking risks. It's a great opportunity for you to ask why or how questions and research for the answers. That's what it means to me as a teacher. What does it mean to you, Jake? What IB means to me, it is a whole bunch of attitudes and attributes that make up a person and their personalities. How about you, Chloe? Um, IB means to me to do the right thing even when no one's watching. Anyone else? What's IB mean to you? Anyone else? And um, it means to hear about the world, especially all the conference. Thinking about those global issues, our global concerns, solutions can be Open mind to everything. Taking a risk. Taking a risk. Great, nice. One more, Stefan. Just be a good person in general. I think IB means that it makes you a better learner. IB means to me that is a global education for students that motivates them to take action to make the world a better place. Learner profile trains help you on school. You can maybe try something new. Try something new, okay. Carissa, how else? Um, you can raise your hand to answer a question even if you're not sure your answer is right. Yeah, I love that. Cool. You can be courageous to do all the learner profile traits. All of the learner profile traits. What about, what about outside of school? What does courageous mean? What does courageous look like outside of school? Gavin. Um, this happens with the people because they like, like save money to donate to the people who don't have as good as um, like, like the people that just got hit by hurricane and stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of that going on right now around the world. Cool. You can be courageous to still learn out of school. Still learn out of school, you can right? Research about different topics. Mm -hmm. Be open-minded to do school. To stand up and think through your own problems. To care about other people's opinions and personalities from their heritage and other countries. As an art teacher, IB to me means being a well-rounded learner. We're learning about the whole world around us and how to make an impact in a positive way on the world. In art class, we are connecting to our IB key concepts with every project that we do. So you can see each concept, uh, key concept for the different grade levels. And we are also hooking into the IB Learner Profile and learning what traits we should have to be a good learner. What IB means is that we always need to try new things and even if you don't know 
what the what the answer is, you can always you can always try. Well, the IB to me as an educator means a teaching methodology that produces students that can drive their own learning, uh, can continue to learn after they leave my classroom. Uh, and I think for the students, it's about being bilingual, being culturally aware, um, choosing the direction that they want to study in, and preparing them really for, a, for a, an uncertain future, a world we don't really know what the, the world will look like in the 10 years until they graduate, but if we can provide them with the independent learning skills and a broader perspective, and I think we have a good chance of preparing them for that, uh, for that future. To me, IBE puts kids first. It puts them in the center of their learning. It makes them the drivers of their learning. It taps into their natural curiosity about how things work and why things are the way they are. It really puts why in the center of education. And this is what we're here to do. We're here to teach kids to be thinkers. We're here to teach them to be curious. We're here to teach them to reflect and to act and to be stewards of their community. That's what IB does for our students and that's what IB means to me. Happy 100th day of school. Raisinville's next roundup has been rescheduled to next week. Thursday the 28th due to the amount of time off we have had so far this month. We look forward to hearing from the Roundup crew as well as the fourth grade and fifth grade classrooms to see what they've been working on. Don't forget that tonight is the PTO's Cookies and Canvas event. This will take place from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and offers students and their families a chance to munch on some cookies while painting a picture of Bob Ross or something else that fits with the theme of the event. Now, let's take it to Haven Netta with the sports. The Monroe's boys team beat Milan 76 to 71 earlier, earlier this week, which has a big win for them. The girls played at home against Chelsea tonight. That basketball season is coming to a close now. Most boys team have already played their last game of the season or will play their last game tonight. Next week, ne next week begins the district playoffs where it's win or go home. This is the time of the year for teams to play their best basketball that year. Thanks Haven, let's take it to Brady and Owen with the weather. Today's forecast is a high of 36, low 26, and light winds throughout the day. Bob Ross is a national treasure. Thanks Brady and Owen, but unfortunately that's all the time we have for today. So from all of us here at RAS, good, good morning, morning, good, good evening, evening, and good night. night.